Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope you're all having a blessed day. Alright guys, um, let me show you what I got here. So uh, this is the old rear uh, hub axle, or the rear axle for the, the back tire. Took it to work, put it on the wire wheel, got all the uh, rust off of it and just uh, put some oil on it just to uh, keep it from re-rusting. As you can see, it turned out okay, but you can see there is a lot of uh, damage to the nuts and they are pretty, uh, like I said, it's pretty old, pretty worn out. The, uh, the bolts and stuff are pretty worn out. Now you can go and get this uh, replacement nuts online. So I got those. And then you got the, uh, the dust covers that go inside the rim. And then the uh, bearings that go inside the rear axle. Uh, like I said, I went on Pork Chop BMX. And I ordered the quarter inch pack of brand new ball bearings. These are made in China though. Uh, just about like everyone else. All the other ones are. I believe there is about a hundred of these carbon steel balls. I was going to go ahead and replace those. Uh, and then the bottom bracket. Uh, I'm going to show you this here. This, These ones here came off of eBay. Now these are both made in Taiwan. But as you can see they are made a little different. This one's got nine balls in it. And it's got a lot bigger gap in between them. So uh this is one set that I got from eBay. I believe they were six or seven dollars. And then this is the uh, set that I got off of Pork Chop BMX. Now this one here is twelve instead of nine, so it's got a couple extra balls. I'm thinking it's better to have extra balls on it. Probably would make it run a little bit smoother the more balls you have. So I might go with these. But like I said, um. I got two different sets, and like I said, each of them are a little different. One has more than the other. Uh, when you order pork chop BMX, the price is only for one of these. So if you want two of these, you are going to have to put two. I accidentally hit two thinking I was getting two sets of these. I didn't read the full description, so I really would have to put four. So I only actually got one set from them. So I got two of those, and then I went and the axles for the front and back. I ordered three sets one for this bike one for the bike that my son's building the interceptor and then one for that uh mongoose super goose comp that i built uh, a few months back we're going to go ahead and i'm going to redo the axles in that as well and the spokes in that as well but just to show you uh what these come with like i said these are around seven dollars 7.99 a piece you can get them in this or you can get them in silver i got them in black these don't have the uh, rubber dust covers like they do with these. Uh, the dust covers are integrated into the axle nut where, where the bearing goes. It's kind of uh, pressed. It's pressed onto it, onto the nut itself. So, like I said, brand new hardware. I figured I would go ahead and try these out and give them a, give them a go. And also, I noticed, uh, I don't know, just from these being old, it looks like the angle of the uh, diameter of the not where the bearing goes looks like it's a little bit more the angles a lot less sharp on the newer one uh, i don't know if that's it from it being used or being this one being worn but it looks like the the angle of it is actually a little bit uh steeper on these than it is the uh the newer one so like i said once i go ahead and i'll put these in i'm gonna do a, i'm gonna do a video of me installing them uh and we'll see guys tell me we'll see how how well everything turns out and i'll let you know if i'm gonna you know if i'm gonna say these are good or not good i'll let you know also um, we go like i said i can't really true these wheels yet until after i get these hubs in there so i need to get these hubs in there before so i can true the wheels and i can be able to do the rim tape uh my uh the wheels the tires came in and i got the uh tubes also so we're going to go ahead and do a video we're going to do all the, all the grease and everything else we'll grease everything up get all the new pieces in, all the new bearings in and then uh like i said we're going to true this wheel and then we'll be moving on to the uh, next part of the bike all right so you just got to type in pork chop bmx like i said i'm just going to show you around this website here guys you could just click on here and there's different sections for each thing. As you can see, there's got the axle nuts and the brakes, uh, ball bearings. Here's the different uh, bearing sets for the uh, 
bottom bracket and the steering and like I said it has all the sides uh, the sizes of them in here all the different uh, ball bearings you would need for wheels and anything like that And here are the different, uh, you just want new axle nuts off uh, the whole wheel down. Like I said, there's all different kinds of things on here. There's nuts and caps and everything else. Uh, there's some more colors here. Look into. Uh, and then you keep scrolling down. Uh, brakes. Bottom bracket. Uh, different uh, chains. Like I said, all the pretty easy to use this website. Uh, find what you're looking for uh, like I said not not too bad I'm just let me show you all the a uh, couple of the other things that were down here hubs hub parts look inside the hub parts and here is your uh, your axles and stuff in here uh, you just click on three eighths you can go in here like I said you can get them in black you can get them with seal bearings uh, and they actually have them uh, silver. So like I said, they're under ten bucks, so it's a pretty decent price for uh, for our brand new axles. Here are the silver ones right here. I was thinking about getting these silver ones to get new ends for your cranks uh, to hold the cranks together. There's pieces in here as well. I just want to uh, also show you guys the uh, the wheels. This is where I found the wheels. Like I said, they're originally forty some dollars, but they had them here on sale on here for twenty nine ninety nine, which is a really good uh, deal for those van uh, wheels. Let me just go ahead and show you a couple of the uh, the wheels that are on the, uh, this page. There's not a whole big selection, but they got a pretty decent selection on there. Hey guys, so uh, back to this now. Uh, pick these cult tires up. I uh, picked them up for $29.99. They're originally $42. I got these on deal. These are two, 20 by 2.1. And then I also picked these GT bike tubes up off of their website. And these are from 2.1 to 2.4. So these should be, uh, these should fit just fine. These are the regular Schrader valve instead of the Presta valves. Um, I've never got GT uh, tubes before. I don't know if there's anything special about them. They have GT on the tubes anywhere. We'll just take a quick look at them. Are they just regular tubes? I don't see anything on there stamped or marked on them. Get a size uh, on here that's on the tire itself. So uh, 2.1 to 2.4. And just uh, these are made in China also. That's. Thought these would be made in Taiwan, but I guess these are not. If it says, I wonder if it says made in China anywhere on the uh, box as well. Just curious. Uh, made in China, right there. Okay, so yeah. So here's our first tire. Here's our other tire. I put new, uh, brand new rim tape around the rims, each rim. So each rim 
has a brand new rim tape on it as well. Let's go ahead and uh, these wire, these are from wire tied too. Let's have it. Cut these off. And we'll just do one here. Let me get uh, my back this up a little bit, and make it a little bit easier to see. There you go. So this is Colt 110 psi. So these are going to be the high pressure tires I'm going to run on this uh, run on this bike as well. If I can get us a little bit more room here to Let's pick this one here. Uh, this one here I've already picked the hole for the stem. The other one I haven't done yet. So we'll just do this one first, just because it's a little probably be a little bit easier to do. Actually, maybe I should uh, put the maybe I should put the tire on first and then put the uh, we can get the tire on first. The tool. There we go. Add on. We get to the back of it here. like on that side be all right try and get the tube in it now then we'll go ahead and in the other side around leave the uh probably gonna leave the tires flat just so i can uh squeeze them on once i get everything on because i just wanted to show you guys what it looked like with the uh tire and there's the tread and everything all right guys just a real quick picture of them here uh, i went pretty smoothly uh, i think it turned out pretty good you guys tell me what you think all right guys thank you god bless and have a great day Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Matthew twenty nine nineteen. All right, guys, I know it can be a little daunting sometimes to uh, go and share your faith with someone when I know that you don't do it a lot or you haven't really done it. Uh, the more you do it, the more comfortable you get sharing it with people. But uh, I just pray that uh, if this... If you haven't heard the word or don't know the word, I pray that you would just uh, seek Jesus, uh, read his word, uh, talk to someone, join a local church, and just get to know him. But that's it, guys. I wanted to say thanks and God bless. Have a great day.